A win like this, what does it say for your team in the overall development of things? Um, the thing I was most proud of is we got blown out uh, in Philly. Uh, and, and they just literally embarrassed us. And, uh, you know, the one thing about our kids, we came back in the gym the next day. They didn't hang their heads. They didn't doubt. Uh, they didn't make excuses. They just got back to work um, and tried to get better. Coach, uh, Kevin looked really aggressive tonight, played really well. Uh, what can you say about his performance? Well, it's in there, and it's just going to be a matter of time before we really get it to, to come out fully. Um, but like I said before, this kid works. He comes to work every single day. Uh, he busts his butt. His teammates are rooting for him. And it was just a matter of time before he got, you know, got those jitters out of him and found his rhythm and made some, you know, made some plays. You talked about his confidence, Knox. Um, when, you, when you watch what happens today, does he ever seem to lose that? Well, I don't know. This is going to be, you know, this is going to be new territory for him after dropping 24 or whatever he had, and seeing if he can come back and answer the bell. But the 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 the, the message for me hasn't changed. Whether he's been struggling or playing well, um, I'm always, you know, on him about being aggressive and then doing the little things. And tonight he got on the floor. Uh, he blocked some shots. He challenged shots at the rim. He got rebounds in traffic. I know he can score. That's going to happen for him at some point. He, he's a natural with that, and and that eventually will come. I'm just getting on him about the winning stuff, uh, the in-between stuff that uh, will earn his, uh, that will really get the respect of everybody. Coach, you knew you, you, knew you were going to have to score a lot of points tonight to beat the top scoring team in the league. But did you ever think you scored 30, uh, 136 points? I don't know. With this, with our guys, it could be one night it might be 90, and the next night it might be 145. I don't know with us sometimes. Uh, I just know we're capable when we focus and, and we take care of the ball and we share the ball. Um, that's a heck of a team that we played tonight, uh, and those guys are hard to guard. Um, and uh, obviously they got the MVP right now. In my eyes, I think he's the MVP right now. Uh, and I thought our guys battled him as well as I've seen anybody battle them. And, um, you know, they just made it tough on him. He still had big numbers, but they made it tough. Coach, I'm, I'm going to package three point guard questions into one question. You got it. Uh, but Moutier, obviously, playing with a lot of confidence. How about that? And then Burke. Whether Sprain any? knee. Sprain knee. Um, uh, X-rays was negative, right? And uh, we'll see. We don't know the timetable on it. And Frank, the Coach's decision. And as you can see with these guys, none of them are ever in the dungeon. Um, and I just, I actually, he was the example of to, uh, my post-game speech because if you watch our bench tonight, he was the most energetic, uh, the, the first one up, the first one rooting guys on, the one making sure people knew what they were supposed to do coming out of timeout. And that's not easy when you get in a DMP. Um, but as you know, and as they know, um, I will come back to him uh, in no time. Uh, you know, Dot is a perfect testament of that. Uh, with with Moody, I mean, we've talked a bit, or you've talked a bit rather, just about the progress that he's made this year. But a game like tonight, like, is there one part of his play that impressed you most? Yeah, how he got it back together. Because when I took him out uh, during that, that stretch in the fourth, you know, he was his legs were gone, I think. And he tried to take that one on the break against Giannis, which wasn't really a, a thoughtful play, right? And, you know, I just felt like it was kind of, you know, it was getting a little shaky. So when I took him out, the way he came back and responded was fantastic. And he just kind of took it on himself and, and really willed it. Um, you know, he, he shared the game, but he really willed that thing for us. Coach, speaking about that, that that spot there, you actually went with no point guards when you took Moody out there for a stretch, yeah. and you actually closed the lead. What was going through your mind at that point? Hang in there. <laughs> and I, I didn't want to take any of the shooters off the floor at that time, and we needed, you know, we had to keep no on the floor. And I just felt like Ennis was, was helping us on the glass and, and battling in there for that time. And I just tried to buy myself enough time to get Moody that rest I needed uh, to get his legs back underneath him. And you know, I think Tim only had the one turnover, and, and we scored the ball, and we got stops uh, and bought him enough time so he can come back in and finish. Coach, what were you most proud of with Knox tonight? Well, I, I would say, but, you know, obviously I only hear this stuff through you guys when I talk to you guys, but obviously it sounds like he's been receiving some criticism uh, in the press. And, and that's cool. He, you know, that's your job. You're supposed to do that. But the way he responded tonight, knowing that the world is, all, is on him, and, you know, this is that kind of city, but he asked for this. He wanted to be a Nick, and he understood what comes with it. And like I said, the kid never – he just comes in every day and does his work. 
you know. He'll have some more lows in this deal where it goes up and down for him, but I just like his approach, and his approach will get him there. Coach, as head coach of the Knicks, is this the first time that you really experienced just how exciting the fans can be at Mass Square? No, we had a couple so far. We've had a couple uh, crazy ones that we, we've uh, ended up pulling out. Um, and I just think it's, it's what, what's been cool for me is it doesn't matter who we're playing. The house has been packed for the most part. And uh, our fans, is, they, they're behind this team. You know, they understand this is going to be up and down with these youngsters. But for the most part, they're just getting behind us because these kids play really hard. Um, you know, they're out there trying to compete to win every single game. Uh, and I think our fans appreciate that. Hey, Coach, I, I know you said Coach's decision with Frank, but you've been pretty adamant when he takes criticism of being in his corner. Um, today, I mean, was there a reason for that? Did you go into the game thinking you were going to get Well, just the last two games I went into it um, where I gave Frank the look in the first half, and then if it didn't go well, I came with Dot, and Dot came in both of those games and really performed. So I felt like the fair thing to do tonight was give Dot that first look, and Dot got it going. And so that's just where it was. You know, I was still thinking about, even at the end, you know, it was possessions and I was thinking about going offense, defense with Frank. Um, that's how close he is on my mind. The same way I just threw Luke Cornett in there to get a rebound for us that we didn't get. <laughs> or we, we ended up getting a jump ball. But, um, you know, that's just, that was, that was my mindset going into it. And it's just, you know, I'm going to just keep trying to pump confidence into him and all of these guys. And, and like I said, they know one thing about me is they're never out. They're never in the doghouse with me. They always have a chance to get themselves back into the rotation. Obviously, through the first 15, 20 games, these are the type of games that you know you guys were not coming on the right end of. I mean, how much progress have you seen from them, the way that they kind of handled these tight games? A lot. We made a step, for sure. Um, if you look at that next tier of games, um, we've definitely made a step in winning close games. Um, but, you know, we still have our moments of doing things that, you know, a young team, you know, we got to learn how to not do so that we're not saying we're still a young team. Um, and, and, you know, we have our lows sometimes in a particular game still where it's that chunk of the game where you're just like, where are we? You know, and we had it tonight and they went up, what, 16 or something like that. And uh, But again, our guys just find a way to regroup. <laughs> they dig in and they just start chopping away again. And, you know, I'm just proud of the way they their effort. Uh, kind of piggybacking off that, the two possessions that come to mind were actually defensively when uh, when Giannis had, I guess, I forgot who got he switched on him, but you guys were able to stop him. Dot. Kind of air ball. Dot. Dot switched on to him, yeah. Um, and then another play when Mitchell blocked, I think it was Bloodsoe. So, how about the defensive presence? In the it's great because we, I, when I tell you we drill our defense and we work on our defense, player development, from the player development side, we spend a lot of time on the technique and the competition and the understanding. Like, we probably spending more time on that than offensive skill work, to be honest with you, just to get these guys fast-tracked. And so every victory for a guy is huge, you know? So when we come back to that film session, we can show them the fruits of his labor. And, uh, you know, because they just haven't done it enough. And so again, you know, what, for Dot to come up with that stop, uh, obviously Mitchell, you know, coming up with the big block against, again, our, you know, arguably the best team in the East, you know, right up there with Toronto and those guys. So um, it's good growth for us because there was times where we were fouling on those plays or, or getting blown by on those plays. So, yeah, it's, it's good to see that. Coach, although uh, Noah fouled out tonight, what did you see in the way he defended uh, Giannis? Man, I just don't know. It was like two Rams out there hitting each other. Uh, and, and usually Giannis just caves people in the whole game. And Giannis won some of those battles, but I really thought Noah just kept putting the wall up in front of him and, and making it as hard as possible on him. But that, man, Giannis is something else. And for Noah to be able to just clash with him and make it difficult, he did more than what most people can do in this league. When you see Mario in the first quarter dunk, step over him and get the crowd going, are you excited or are you scared? No, I'm never scared. No, 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 no. There's nothing in basketball to fear. There's real world stuff out there to be afraid of. But, you know, I just, obviously, it's always going to be something that ignites the other team. But, you know, in the heat of the moment, he, you know, he made a hell of a play and the guy was there. So, I don't know. But, no, not scared. That's not the feeling that I had.